This is the giant internet migratory box of electronic junk. This is the first one that's been sent around the UK. It's come to me in Bristol from a gentleman in Woking and he in fact named this box Woking One. This is an idea by Wendell Oskey of the Evil Mad Scientist Labs. Wendell had the idea that uh, to invent interesting electronic stuff it's useful to have a box of junk. I think that's probably an idea that goes all the way back to uh, Thomas Edison. So for some people of course they haven't got a box of junk and it's nice to be able to pass on one's junk to other people who want to invent things. One of the things I've got lots of is 6809 processor chips. So rather than me having a whole lot of 6809 processor chips that I can't use all of, I'll certainly put some of those in the box. If you've got a plan to build something interesting electronic, but you're lacking a part, you may well find that part you need in the box, or you may just get the box and then you'll realize, I can make something out of that. Inside the box, we have a little notebook in which we can write the uh, names and uh, locations of all the places it's been on its travels. So onto the bits that we've got inside here, there's a little numeric keypad here. This particular thing, I think it may have been part of a fax machine once, a little beeper in the corner. The next thing we've got here, I think it was part of logic analyzer. This thing's got some seven segment displays on the front, eight digits there. There's some memory and a battery, and a 6502 chip and a 6522, which is a parallel port chip. Here we've got the HP IEEE 488 card. Uh, the main chip, the big one there, is the Xilinx FPGA chip. This is a device for connecting a PC using the ISA bus to a laboratory instrument like a voltmeter or a signal generator. Expensive board at the time, this would have been quite a, uh, quite a classy bit of kit. This next thing, we've got a whole bunch of memory chips. These are SRAMs for connecting to 8-bit processors. They're 8-bit wide memory. Some transistors and voltage regulators in that little bag. Some mobile phone bits here. We've got an Ericsson uh, mobile phone. So this is a mobile phone. Uh, it's got some wires hanging out, which is rather interesting. Looks like someone has uh, connected up uh, power supply cables. And I think the device there with the blue connector, that's all part of the programming kit that uh, the development people will use to um, program the phone. So this looks like a smart card reader. There's a USB plug on the back of it. There's some chips in that little tube, which are flash memory chips. There's some DIN connectors. These are little uh, micro DIN sockets. I think I've got the plugs for those, so I may put the plugs back in the box before I send it off again. That's a device for inserting DIL chips into sockets. Next up, we've got a little uh, fluorescent display. This is a Hitachi chip underneath there with some buttons on the front and a display. We've got some EEPROMs. These are memory chips, non-volatile ones. Again, useful for 8-bit processor projects. There's a couple of um, battery back memories also there in that particular little bag. This is a um, dual uh, audio level bar graph device with two little chip on board devices, chips in there. That's an ammeter out of a battery charger by the looks of it. So that'll be useful when I'm charging up my lead acid batteries. This is a Pentium processor in PGA package. Little uh, power supply unit, some sort of transformer on there. Some varistors. A uh, telephone earpiece, a telephone adapter of some sort for cabling some sort of phone system, a couple of, mo of uh, PC fans, some other mobile phone connectors and bits and pieces, and a couple of, I think they're infrared LEDs. These are CMOS cameras for use in mobile phones. Maybe they can be reused for something. The uh, spiked wheel around the lens there is a focusing device. You turn that to focus it. These are DIMMs for PC memory. In this little bag, we've got these little round things are mobile phone uh, microphones. This is a little demonstration keypad, a little sample of buttons and switches. Some more DRAMs in that bag. And then in this little bag, we've got some uh, mobile phone vibrator motors. These are very handy for making either vibrator gadgets or using them as motors in their own right for small robots. That's a PCMCIA uh, modem and Ethernet adapter. I don't know what those little clips are. Some more connectors there. I got loads more connectors to go back in the box. And there's some parts of a CD-ROM drive. A couple of blanking adapters of some sort for memory. I think they're out of a PC motherboard. And that's our pile of random electronic junk. That's as you can see the end of the box there now. I think my favorite part out of the box that I received was the 6502 uh, printed circuit board with the LED displays on the front. I rather like that. That's something I can definitely use. 
Uh, my name is John Honeyball. I'm a software engineer, although at the moment I'm actually uh, taking a master's degree in robotics at the University of West of England. I hope you've enjoyed seeing what was inside the electronic box of junk that's winging its way around Britain. I'll be putting my own selection of junk parts in there soon and sending the box on to sunny Brighton.